Aloha, my friends, and welcome to the latest episode with Maui Craft Kitchen. My name is Don, and if this is your first time to the channel, or if you'd just like to show some support, I got a couple of ways you can do that today. The first is not only super easy, it is 100% free. Simply open up the Dropbox under this video and click on that subscribe button. Not only does this help support the channel, it helps you stay up to date on all of the latest content. And the second option, if you really like what you see, is to go on to Venmo, log into your account, and from there, search at Maui Craft Kitchen. Now here, you can leave a monetary tip or donation of any amount, 25 cents, 50 cents, $1, anything helps, and it all goes directly to supporting this channel and helping it grow. You know that I appreciate all of your support. It warms my heart. Many mahalos, my friends. And now, fighting out of the red and green corner, weighing in at approximately 1,500 grams, the undisputed traditional dessert of the world, bread pudding! That's right, my friends. In the last episode, we learned a delicious no-need recipe for bread. And I'm going to leave a link now above in case you missed it. And if you're anything like me, you're making two or more loaves at a time if you're heating up the oven anyway, right? So that potentially leads to some stale bread. And the king of all recipes to make something delicious out of some stale bread is bread pudding. So hold on to your jingle bells because we're gonna work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Okay, let's show some appreciation to Rob the camera guy for keeping the angle in our dangle. The first thing you're going to do is cube your bread into roughly half inch pieces. Next, we're going to take all of the other ingredients and whisk them together in a separate bowl until thoroughly combined for about 60 seconds. After everything is mixed well, we're going to pour it over the bread. Now we're going to stir, scraping down the sides and slowly pulling up from the bottom so that we don't break up the bread as much as possible. We want to keep it intact. Now we're going to let this sit covered on the counter for about 30 minutes while we do three things. The first is heating the oven to 325 degrees. The next thing you're going to do is butter a jumbo muffin tin. I like to use this not only because it helps them cook evenly, but because it makes them look so damn cute. Now to achieve this level of dairy lubrication, I like to do a two-step butter process. First, I butter them up and then I pop it in the fridge until it solidifies again. Then I pull it out of there and butter them up again. That gives you this nice, thick butter layer. And then I'll keep it in the fridge until I need it. Now you could easily use a loaf pan or a cake pan, whatever you have on hand, but your cooking times are going to vary. I like to cook mine to an internal temperature of about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Lastly, we're taking care of the icing. Here I have 10 grams of water and 60 grams of confectioner sugar. Now this icing is in its simplest form. I could easily change out this water for orange juice, maple syrup, bourbon, and I could easily spice this up a little bit by adding some cardamom, some cinnamon. But today I'm just going to show you icing in its simplest form. This one is slightly runny. So if you'd like it to be a little more stiff, just add a little more confectioner sugar, a little bit by a little bit, until you reach the consistency that you like. Now cover this and set it aside until we're ready for it. And now it's time to bake. We're going to pull the bread from the bowl, distributing it evenly across the pan, and then we're going to pour the remaining liquid over each one. Thank you. 
Now we're going to bake this in the middle rack of a 325 degree Fahrenheit oven for 40 minutes, rotating twice. Once after the 15 minute mark and again after the 30 minute mark. We're looking for an internal temperature of 170 degrees. Once they come out of the oven, we're going to let them cool for at least 30 minutes or until they come out of the tin easily before serving. You could also wrap them individually and leave them in the fridge for a later date. And that's it, my friends, bread pudding. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Now this is just a basic, delicious recipe for bread pudding, but that doesn't mean that you can't change it. Tweak it up a little bit, have some fun. Throw some nuts in there, some dried fruits, some lemon zest, orange zest. Whatever you do, just be sure to take some pictures and tag Maui Craft Kitchen, both on Facebook and Instagram, because I wanna see what you're making. Now, if you like any of the hardware or the pantry items in today's episode, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below that you can purchase these items through Amazon. Now, this doesn't cost you anything extra, but Amazon does give me a small commission for sending a little bit of business their way. And this commission helps me support this channel and helps it grow. And I appreciate all of your support. So until next time, many mahalos and much aloha.